Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss one of the most powerful tools in filmmaking, low angle shots. These shots have the ability to transform the way your audience perceives the scene and can add a whole new layer of visual storytelling to your films. Let's get started. Before we dive into the creative implications of low angle shots, let's first understand some technical aspects. A low angle shot is captured from a low position, looking up at the subject. This angle is achieved by positioning the camera lower than the eye level of the subject. It is important to consider the height of the camera, your lens choice, and framing to get the desired effect. Now, let's explore the creative impact of low angle shots. One of the key effects from shooting from a low angle is that it can make your subject appear larger, more dominant, or even intimidating. This can be particularly effective when shooting villains, powerful characters, or dramatic moments. In The Godfather, director Francis Ford Coppola used the low angle shots to convey the immense power and dominance of the character Don Vito Corleone. By shooting from a low angle, the character emphasizes his authority and control over the situation, creating an intimidating presence. Similarly, in the Shawshank Redemption, director Frank Darabont utilized low angle shots to emphasize the oppressive and intimidating nature of the prison system. By shooting from below, the camera captures the towering figure of the prison guards, further enhancing the sense of confinement and powerlessness experienced by the inmates. Low angle shots can also be used to emphasize height, making the objects or characters to be taller than they actually are. This can be helpful when you want to depict the sense of grandeur awe, or you just want to scale in your scenes. In Inception, director Christopher Nolan employed low angle shots during the iconic hallway fight scene. By shooting upwards from a low angle, the camera amplifies the scale and intensity of the fight, creating a visual stunning and awe-inspiring sequence. Likewise, in The Matrix, directors the Wachowski siblings used low angle shots to showcase the power and agility of the characters within the simulated world. By shooting from below, the camera accentuates their acrobatic movements and gives the audience a heightened sense of their extraordinary abilities. Now that we understand the creative power for shooting low angle shots, let's discuss some practical tips for shooting them more effectively. First, consider the lighting. Low angle shots often require carefully planned lighting setups to ensure that the subject is properly illuminated from below. Next, pay attention to your composition. Low angle shots can benefit from strong vertical lines and symmetrical framing to enhance the impact of the angle. Lastly, don't forget about camera movement. Adding subtle or dynamic movements to your low angle shots can further enhance the visual storytelling and create a more immersive experience for your audience. All right guys, that wraps up our discussion today on low angle shots for filmmaking. Experimenting with different camera angles and techniques is essential for you finding your own unique visual style as a filmmaker. So grab your camera and start exploring the world of low angle shots in your next project. Once again, thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all filmmaking tips and techniques. As always, keep creating and keep pushing the boundaries of your imagination. See you guys later.